Here guys, today uh, let's uh, understand the uh, SQL um, with Elastic Pool. How to create an uh, Azure SQL database with Elastic Pool, right? Let's quickly understand what is uh, Elastic Pool first, right? So Elastic Pool solves the problem by ensuring the databases get the performance resources they need when they need it. They provide a simple resource allocation mechanism within a predictable budget, right? In SQL database elastic pools are simple cost effective solution for managing and scaling multiple databases right that have varying and unpredictable usage demands so so let's say whenever we uh, provision a database we will try to find out what are the transactions per day that that will happen on that particular database depending upon that you can configure the DTUs for the database but it doesn't mean that uh, we are uh, we are actually provisioning the right numbers there so we always tend to go for a over provision resources on a peak usage part and overpay so in order to avoid this we are, we are coming up with elastic uh, pools where one or more databases uses the DTUs as per the requirement Go back here click on add okay um, test elastic DB you can use your resource group select the uh, sources blank database now here want to use SQL elastic pool click on yes okay and we need to create a database pool I'm creating the pool here just pool so select the, the pricing which you have basic and pool depending upon the requirement the EDT use what you have right select I'm going with the basic click on select it says uh, this is the monthly estimated so it's like 5,000 So that's 5,000 uh, Indian rupees, so that will be approximately less than $100 per month. Right, so click on create. So now uh, it will create an SQL uh, Azure database with Elastic Database Pool. Right. So this is the database name, Test Elastic DB. Go back to the, the documentation once. Uh, creating it says deployment uh, in progress for the test elastic DB okay I'm just deleting the old uh, database here meanwhile right so all right, all right so this is the the one we created just now click on that and let's see the properties once clearly so the overview gives here the resource the server name the uh, database pool all right you can see the DTU percentage the usage it's showing the database size currently it's 4 MB because it's a blank database we don't have anything right so these are the uh, the basic things that it will show hmm? so if you go here and uh, check the uh, the pricing 
the pricing tariff. It shows the um, this database is part of an elastic pool, but not from the uh, or a standalone uh, database tiers. Okay. So this is how you will create a an SQL Azure database with elastic pool. Okay. The next thing I'll show you how to uh, uh, sync to other databases. How can we set the uh, the alert rules? How can we uh, configure the uh, the threat detection and other uh, options in the in the next video? Thank you for watching and stay tuned.